One thing I'm doing right now today with this video is I'm pivoting this channel over to something else. It's still personal finance, but I want to focus heavily on the topic that I'm talking about today going forward. We talked about the fundamentals. We talked about managing money. We talked about saving, paying off debt. We talked about all that good stuff. But I really want to focus in on what your number one priority should be. And I went over that topic last week. If you haven't checked that video out, you can check it out up here. And that topic was the single most effective piece of personal finance advice I've ever received. That was what that video was all about. And that advice was to focus in on increasing your income. So today I wanna help out with your pain points because I think the biggest financial pain point of all time is simply not having enough. And adding context to that, not having enough money to pay off your debt, not having enough money to pay off your medical bills, not having enough money to give yourself and your family the life that they deserve to live, not having enough to afford your dream car, not having enough to get the clothes you want to get, not having enough money to go on the vacation you want to go on. Money is a big pain point, whether it's barely being able to afford gas, barely being able to afford groceries, whatever the issue is, it doesn't matter if you're in poverty, it doesn't matter if you're middle class. Either way, there are a lot of constraints when it comes to money. And I want to help you out and let you know that your biggest, biggest goal should be to increase your income. And I'm going to give you some ways in this video to do that. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Reggie Bryant. I'm the author of The Wealth Journey. And this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth. So I talked about this a little bit in the last video, but Probably the easiest way to increase your income right now is to work overtime at work and do so regularly. You want to set a time frame and you want to calculate in advance how much money you're going to have by the end of it so you don't get discouraged throughout the way because it is very tiring. It is very demanding on the body and on the mind. But I'm telling you right now, if you set aside three months and you work relentlessly for three months, one to two days extra of overtime per week, that is going to make your money go up a lot faster. But the key is you're not going to base your bills off of it. You're not going to put extra expenses up there like, oh, well, I'm getting overtime this week. So I'm going to add this and this and this to my expenses. No, you keep your expenses the exact same. You pretend the extra money doesn't exist. You let it stack up until you hit the end of that three month period. And I guarantee you, you will be smiling by the end of it. And if you want to go hardcore, you can do six months, seven months, eight months. It's really up to you, but you have to commit and you have to decide how long you want to do this. Now, I also know that overtime isn't going to be available for everyone because everyone doesn't work in industries where overtime is a regular thing. I get that too, but I have more pieces of advice for you. Another way to quickly increase your income is something that you can do every two years. And a lot of people don't know this, so this is game. And I actually don't think I've shared this in any of my other videos. I have quite a bit of them, so I don't really remember, but here's the advice. Every two years, if you apply for a new role that's like, say, lateral to where you are now or even a step above where you are now at a different company, you can increase your income by a lot. And it's actually a strategy that I've used myself. And here's how it works. For example, for me, I worked at a tire company for almost two years. I got fed up with them. But during my time there, I built up my skill set so much that I was like, you know what? I can take this experience somewhere else. So what did I do? I applied somewhere else. I told them about all my credentials, all my past experiences, all the projects I did, all the value that I added to the company, all my people skills, all the payroll skills that I had, management skills, you name it. I put everything in there. In addition to the relevant classes that I took in college and other certifications that I had. And then I was able to demand a much higher pay than I was making at the previous job, which was about a $12,000 difference. Two years from there, I was able to go for a higher role within the same company and I landed it just like that. So what I'm saying is early on in your career, a decent time clock for you is every two years, I need to be going up in pay. 
at least every two years. Every year you might get that incremental 4%. Look, I'm trying to tell you that ain't nothing that ain't outpacing the inflation. That ain't doing nothing but putting you in the same position you were in last year because inflation goes up by 7%, but your salary goes up 4%. You're negative 3% technically than you were last year. So actually you're taking a step back from where you were last year if you really think about it. I'm here to help you progress and elevate not only yourself, but your finances as well. So if you wanted to go up 10% or more, that's a great way to do it. Going from 60,000 to 72,000, that's a 20% increase right there. And then of course I got raises when I was in that 70 range, then I got into the 80s and then and then get into the six figures and it just keeps growing from there. That is what you wanna do. Early on, you want to hit hard, and you want to go for what you can go for very quickly. You want to learn what you can learn. You want to build your skill set and you want to go for it, show your hunger, but you also got to deliver on what the demands are for the job. And you have to do so consistently, improve yourself. And after that, your reputation is going to speak for itself. But the reason I say first go into another company is because for one, other companies can have better growth opportunities. Two, a lot of people don't know this, the budget for retention and raises, like I, as in staying in the same company and moving up, that budget is lower than hiring on new people and onboarding. For example, the company that I left the tire company for didn't just offer me a much better salary, but they also offered me an additional 12K in moving expenses. So they looked out for your boy is what I'm saying. That budget is bigger because you accommodate one experience, but two, moving. If you're in a different state, a different city, the company might go ahead and throw some extra money your way just to go there because they understand that you are valuable. So a lot of times it may be advised to you that job hopping is wrong or companies don't like that. Look, that may be true if you're job hopping like every three to six months, but if, but if you stay at a place for two years or more and then you're not moving fast enough at that company, if you go to another company with your credentials, they're going to snatch you up. At the drop of a hat, they are going to snatch you up. I promise you. And eventually you will find some place that helps you progress as quick as you want to. But of course, you have to deliver on that yourself as well and build yourself up. But some companies drag their feet on that stuff and they dangle a carrot over your head. And then it's like, you know what? I'm not waiting on you no more. It's been five years. Uh-uh. I'm on to the next. And that's what you should be doing. You should be as aggressive as possible in moving forward within your career. That's how you can get optimal growth. I'd say you can get between 10, maybe 30% growth with each time that you do it. And don't be afraid to negotiate. And along the same lines of that piece of advice, something that you could do that is completely free right now to increase your chances of doing this successfully each time is simply going on Google or going on YouTube or even taking a course, like a college course or something. In that case, it wouldn't be free, but you get what I mean. And just look at how interviews should go. Look at what's expected from you in an interview. What types of answers are acceptable? What type of mindset we're looking for when we interview? And as someone who hires people on myself, I can give you very good advice. As a matter of fact, in my book, I have a whole section about career growth. I have a whole section about what industries are the most lucrative. I have a section about what majors in college and what fields to go into, whether or not you go to college, what types of skills you need to learn, what type of salaries you could expect to make. And I break down everything, the mindset, the body language, the dress, all that stuff, even down to the cologne or perfume you should wear, you know what I'm saying, in an interview. I broke all of that stuff down in my book. I highly suggest you check that out. I don't wanna to spend too much time in this video on that stuff, but I'm telling you right now, I know my stuff when it comes to interviews. And of course, you can also do stuff on the side, like side hustles, right? Anything that's active, you can do that right now. There's a lot of things that you're very capable of doing that you could charge money for. Kids even understand this with their lemonade stands and selling candy bars and stuff, right? Selling Girl Scout cookies, right? So innately, we know how we can make some extra money, but are we willing to put in the extra work to do it? It is a lot of work. Sometimes it is gonna take a lot of time. Sometimes you're gonna feel like you're wasting your time and like, man, I could have been chilling watching the game. Man, I could have been chilling playing the game. I could have been chilling with the boys. I could, you could have, 
But look, time's gonna go by anyway. How serious are you about your goal? Because if you're not that serious, then you can keep right on doing what you're doing. But when you're hungry, when you really wanna make that extra money, when you really wanna have that lifestyle that you keep talking about, you gotta get up and do something. You have to mean what you say and say what you mean. And you have to get up there and do it and actually walk what you're talking instead of wishing you could be somewhere else. So when you work that overtime, you might wish you were somewhere else, but at the end of the day, when you make that money you're supposed to be making, you understand in the future that you won't have to work as hard to build up your savings. You won't have to work as hard to pay off your debt because that overtime is what went toward those things. And as you keep earning your stripes and getting better and getting promoted and doing things on the side, whether it's a side hustle like painting houses, cutting and grass, pressure washing houses, I done done all of those. There's no shame in the game. Even if it's picking up a part-time job if you have to, you really have to do what you have to do. But your number one thing is always gonna be increase your income. And sometimes the quickest way to increase your income is to increase your skill set at work and move up and keep moving up, especially if you're in a lucrative industry where it doesn't take too, too long to get promoted. Gone are the days, at least in my industry, gone are the days where you gotta wait 10, 15, 20 years to get promoted to the next step. And that's looked at as like, oh my God, that person's so high up. It's not like that anymore. Now it could be six months, a year, a year and a half, two years, just depending on how things move and what positions become open and what skills that you have right now. That can make your money go up very, very quick. One of my coworkers has a photography business. Booming. It doesn't have to be a full-on business. It could be a hobby that then becomes a business because when you charge people premiums and they actually pay it and they understand that there's a high demand for what you're providing, you can charge more. And even me, like I said, I haven't really said anything in this video that I haven't done myself. I've had a side hustle. I've had a side business. In addition to, I have this YouTube channel. I have my book. I have my website. I have my course that is about to be coming out very soon that I hope y'all tap into because that course is going to really help you invest and know exactly where to put your money when it comes to investing, when it comes to saving, when it comes to high yield savings, it breaks down everything, how to build a whole portfolio and keep your money in the best places possible. So you get what I'm saying? These are ways that you're gonna increase your income and making that my number one focus for the past three, four years, I'm still not exactly where I wanna be, but I'm much, much further along than I would have been if I didn't do any of this. And it feels good to do this type of work and it is fulfilling to do this kind of work and really put that energy and time and effort into something that I'm passionate about. But I have a strong reason why I'm doing this and it goes back to what I was talking about in this video. I never wanna be in a situation where my car battery dies and I'm like, man, I really don't got the money for this. I don't wanna be in a situation where my tire goes out, man, I don't really got the money for this. I don't ever want to be in a position where, you know, I'm sick or something, I got to pay a big medical bill and I don't have the rest of it that my insurance didn't cover. I don't want to be in that situation. So I have put myself in a position to never be in that situation. And now that I've gotten significantly further than I was back then, four or five years ago, I'm setting myself up for another 10, 15, 20 years into the future. I'm making sure that I'm good. I'm investing. And that's another thing. Once you get to where you need to get to, invest your money don't just let time work against you time's going to go by anyway you might as well have some money in investments learn how to invest like i said my course is coming up very soon you're going to want to check that out i'm going to have an early bird special where it is deeply discounted but yeah just so y'all know my whole platform is pivoting you know the fundamentals now you know about saving money now. You know the mindset behind it. You understand living below your means. Now we're going to talk about building wealth, getting rich, making some money. That's what we're going to be talking about. We're going to help you progress throughout life, throughout your career, whatever it is that you want to do, whether you want to grow a YouTube channel, whether you want to make your own business, whether you want raises at work, whether you want to know how to interview, you want to make six figures a year, you want to be able to invest thousands of dollars a month. That is where this next phase of this channel is going. That's what this is all about. And even, you can definitely check on my Instagram. My Instagram is way different now. Now I have more content up there. I have those helpful slides where you can look at it and slide real quick, the carousel content. You can check that out. I give practical, very easily digestible advice on there. You can check that out too. And I got my reels and my short form content up there as well. So definitely check me out. It's time to start evolving 
this channel. It's time to start taking it to the next level. Thank you guys so much for the 12K followers on YouTube. I really, really, really appreciate it. And just so y'all know, this channel is about to catch on fire. So I hope y'all are excited as I am. And I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Increase your income and all your other problems will become that much more solvable as long as you keep your expenses the same. Anyway, that's the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Reggie Bryant and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth so you can control you, control your finances, and control your life. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.